Hey, what's up, y'all? This video is just going to be kind of an update, catch up, um, little mini collective haul, some stuff I picked up here or there because I know I haven't done videos in a while. It's been a couple of weeks. Move my camera over. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks. Um, I've just been kind of, kind of lazy, haven't really felt like doing videos. No specific reason. I just haven't felt like doing it. Um, I watch YouTube videos every day. Even if I'm not commenting, I'm watching. But I do appreciate you guys who stop by and check on me. Just, you know, hey, Stays, how you doing? You know, just, you know, stopping by. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, guys. Um, thank you to all my new subscribers who have come on board recently. Because, like I said, even though I haven't been doing videos, I have received several new subbies. So, um, thank you for that. Hopefully, I will get back at it here, cranking the videos out more regularly. I've already done, I think, three videos already today. So, I'm just trying to get back in it. Um, so, don't be surprised if you see lots of videos in this little green sweatshirt. Because I may crank out five or six, seven videos today just trying to catch up and, you know, get back in it. So, I probably won't upload them on the same day. So, just, you know, be on the lookout for the green sweatshirt. It is what it is. Um... What else? Um, I said thank you. I said hey. Okay, well let's just get into it. I'm going to show you um, some stuff that I picked up over the last little bit. Um, first thing is a couple of things I picked up off eBay. One of them is this concealer palette. Um, yeah, I just put my little labeler, wrote concealer on there. Yeah, I like my labeler. Um, so I ordered this off eBay. And I, it came from Hong Kong. I think it was like two or three dollars, and I don't remember how much shipping handling was. I think total it was six, seven dollars, something like that. It came pretty quick. It came in less than two weeks, so I had no complaints on that. Um, it's various different shades of concealer, which I really liked because I can mix shades. Um, if one, you know. It's too dark too light I can kind of mix them there's um, this side these are correctors um, the green kind of helps with redness and I'm um, not really sure what the other two do I need to research them some but um, I just thought this would be a really good palette to have for myself as well as if I'm doing makeup on others because my makeup you know I don't have an extensive makeup kit I have makeup that matches my skin and nobody else's so um with concealer if even if they bring their own makeup i can maybe mix up a uh, shade of concealer to work for them and um my girl uh still junkie zero seven had asked me to do a review on um this palette so i will do that i've used it a couple times now so i can give an honest opinion on it so i will um get a review done for you asap and then I ordered um, a palette. It's um, the 88 Warm Palette. This came from Hong Kong as well. Um, been wanting a neutral palette. I'm like really, really feeling neutrals right now. And um, this was three or four dollars. Shipping was three or four dollars. I think I paid, you know, total seven, no more than eight dollars for this one. I've used it a couple of times. It's great for neutral eye smoky eye wedding looks you know just everyday everyday looks um i've used it a few times i haven't you know come anywhere close to using all the colors but i've been very very pleased with it and both of these items i ordered like i said came from hong kong and they arrived in excellent condition this one took a little longer this one took almost three weeks um or maybe even three weeks to the day but it came it, you know, as you can see, none of the shadows were broken. It was bubble wrapped well, packaged well. So, I have no complaints. I would order from them again. So, that's my eBay stuff that I ordered a while back. Then, what else do I have? Um, I went to Sephora. And I went in there to um, get my little birthday gift. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even know what the birthday gift was this year. And it is um, Philosophy it's Vanilla Birthday Cake. It's a shampoo, a shower gel, and a bubble bath. Which I probably won't use because um, 
shower gel and bubble bath. I, I, my eczema won't let me use this kind of stuff. Um, I doubt if I will use it on my hair. I don't know. Um, oh, it's sealed. I can't smell it, but I said it smells like birthday cake. Um, I don't know. If I'm feeling adventurous, I may try it in my hair as a shampoo. Um, probably not. I'll probably more than likely end up giving it away. So, I don't know if I'll, you know, do something on as a YouTube giveaway and put it in a package or give it to one of my girls or take it to work. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and then I ended up buying a lip liner. I bought a Makeup Forever Aqua Lip Pencil. I, um have really been wearing um, nude lips a lot lately and um, I just decided to get this so I've never used the makeup forever lip liners um, so I don't know but I got one so that's what I got from Sephora and I only had like 200 points and the point perk for where I was wasn't that exciting so I left it there and I'm just going to keep saving. Um, what else? I went to Dollar Tree. Hold on. Sorry y'all. Went to Dollar Tree and I ended up buying some lipstick. Bought two lipsticks. Um, one's an NYC lipstick and the color is called Buff. And it is even sealed in the package. Hmm. Huh. Okay, let's see if I can get this open. Y'all know I don't do good opening stuff on camera. Trey Songs is on. I'm trying not to sing in y'all's ear. This one is called Buff. Like I said, I'm just so into nudes and neutral lips right now. But it's kind of, um, it looks like it has a little gold in it. Like this is like a nude or a neutral with a little oomph. So, um, hmm. Do you all see that? Mm, got a weird smell. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not into lipsticks that smell. We'll see. I don't know about that one. Um, y'all know, have y'all ever had a lipstick that like, smells kind of... Mm, I don't know. That one got a little smell, a little odor. I might not keep that one. Um, and this other one is a Maybelline mineral power lipstick and this color is nude shell and it looks like this do a little swatch of this one and see on my hand this doesn't look nude to me that looks kind of I can't see that it's right there. I don't know. That doesn't really look nude. Not on my head anyway. So, that one don't smell. So, we'll see what that looks like on. I don't know. I told you, I'm trying to step up my lipstick game. So, for a dollar, I'm willing to try stuff. We'll see. Um, then, the other two things I'm going to show you guys. Let me wipe my hand off. Because I've showed you this dress and I don't want to get lipstick on it. Um, I went to, well, I recently discovered this store called Clothes Mentor. I had no idea about this store. It is in conjunction with, or it's a sister store to, if you're familiar with Plato's Closet or um, Once Upon a Child. Uh, Clothes Mentor is kind of Plato's Closet for grown ups. And I used to really like Play-Doh's Closet and enjoy Play-Doh's Closet until I went in there today. Ooh, my back session. I'm sorry. 
after I went into Clothes Mentor, because I went into Clothes Mentor a couple weeks ago, stumbled on this store looking for something else. Um, so I just kind of ran in and ran back out. And I was like, oh, this is nice. So, and what it is, if you're not familiar with any of the stores, it's, um, it's a secondhand store where they sell, what is it, like gently used items. And you can take your stuff in and they'll buy them from you. And then they resell them. And so Plato's Closet is more catered for like teenagers and college students and stuff like that. But which I was fine with because I used to always find stuff in there um, until I discovered this clothes mentor place. I mean, they have nice stuff like their stuff. Just an example of what you're going to find in there. A lot of Talbots, a lot of Ann Taylor, uh, Banana Republic. Um, I saw some White House Black Market stuff in there. Um, there's some incline stuff in there. So from those labels, you can kind of tell Liz Claiborne. You know, that's the kind of stuff that they carry. Play-Dohs is more Rue 21, Old Navy, you know, stuff like that. So I went to play those closets today after I left Clothes Mentor. I will never go in there again. It was like chaos. It was like just teenagers everywhere and like little baby tees and flip flops and. I'm done with Play-Dohs. I'm closed mentor all the way. Y'all know I'm a thrift girl. And so I used to be a big consignment shopper until I discovered thrift. And now the consignment stores are too expensive for me. I know. I know. I'm used to paying $3 for stuff. I snub my nose and stuff. It's more than that. But um, so I went in there and I got a couple of things. Um, the day, the first day I went in there and I ran in and ran out, they were having a little sale and I managed to pick some up even though I didn't run in and run out. So let me show you those. I got a pair of shoes. Um, they were $12. $12. Yeah, $12. Okay. Uh, it's a pair of Jessica Simpson shoes. Black. With a brown, like, wooden heel. And they were having a 20% off that day. So they ended up being like $10.80. And if you can see these shoes on the bottom, yeah, brand new, brand new, never been worn, just probably in the store to try them on, brand new, $10, yep, we'll be rocking those this summer, so I got those, and then I went back in there today, I knew they were having a sale. They were having a President's sale, President's Day sale um, the weekend. Friday or Saturday through Monday. So everything in the store was 25% off. And like I said, they have a little bit of everything in there. You know, clothes, shoes, lots of handbags. They have, you know, no-name handbags up to, they have Coach and Dooney and Burke and you know, a little bit of everything. So really nice. So I was just browsing. Didn't know if I was going to find anything. And I did. I found a dress that still had the original tags on it. Brand new. And it is perfect. So I think this is going to be my Easter dress. Like I said, I really wasn't shopping like that. But it's adorable. It was my size. It was the right price. It was... How much was it? $10. And 25% off. So it was like 7 bucks. This is what it looks like. This is the top, and then it's got a little ribbon around the waist, and then the bottom has these flowers on it. They are like brown and kind of maroon. Let me see if I can uh, move so you guys can see it. Kind of hard to see it. It's hard to try to show you all clothes. So this will tie up. And then the back just has a little little zipper down the back. So that's that. Isn't that cute? So yes, brand new. So I will be washing that up and wearing that for Easter. And I think that's everything I had to show you guys. So, um, yeah, that's it. So, um, again, I'm just trying to, ooh, 15 minutes. Oh, gosh, 14.52. Okay, gotta go. Bye.